Okay, so we're going to start using the racks. But it's important that we get on and off the rack in the right way. So I'm going to get on and off. So if I sit down beside the rack. As we discussed already, they roll. So I'm going to sit in the middle of the rack. And that gets me positioned quite nicely. I can come forward to the end of the rack knowing that I'm central. And then slide out to the side symmetrically. Position myself carefully into the rack like so. Once I'm here, I'm going to check that the top spindle still rotates. People tend to slide down, and that is against the opposite foot there. So just come up, and that is position one, so that that top spindle rotates. When I get off, I'm going to walk my feet round to the side. Then I'm going to bring the arm over the top, and you'll notice that I just slide gently off. And I can come to all fours, particularly if I have somebody with back pain, and they can either come up from there, or I can help them up from there if they're on the floor. It's important that you get on and off in this way continuously. We're all like fit, young, healthy people, right? We can throw ourselves on and off, but you'll regret it tomorrow, all right? Because we're going to get on and off a lot. Normally, I'd only have a, a, a client use the rack for two minutes. That's it, just two minutes. Then contrast that with a movement off the rack, particularly if they're new to the rack. But we're going to be getting on off it for the next three hours. So I slide down rather than throwing myself onto the rack. And I get to position, spindle to roll. Most people want to just pop up, okay? Because we're fit and we're strong in that, then we've got no pain. But I guarantee you that tomorrow your sacrum will feel like a horse has kicked it and so and your lower back will be really bruised from it as well. Alright? Because the length of time we spend on a rack is two minutes at a time, right? So to ensure there's no impact into my bones or my muscles, I just walk back round, bring this one over the top, and slide gently off the side. With a client, that's important as well. You don't want them to go this way, leave the arm behind, because now what happens? That's not a good experience. Boom. Okay. So I make sure, walk the feet around, bring the arm over the top, almost like a recovery position. And then they can exit in a nice, smooth way, and then help them up by all fours. If we have them on the floor and not massage them.